We are here to provide um, our firefighters with some equipment so that they can assist animals in some life-saving measures um, when they stumble upon pets in a fire situation. Um, their oxygen masks, since that's the first uh, treatment we need to initiate with any animal that's had smoke inhalation. Less than 25% of um, fire trucks and even less than 2% of EMS vehicles are equipped with this equipment specifically for pets. Uh, so we're trying to, we, we started a fundraising event at our clinic and our um, clientele was very generous um, in providing the, the money to purchase this equipment. Before I moved back to Columbus 18 months ago, uh, I was in Jacksonville, Florida and about five years ago they had a public drive to buy masks for the firehouses down there and that's where I first heard about them. And, um, my dog and I are patients with Dr. Wiley and uh, I suggested to them that you know maybe they could get behind it and do a, do a fun thing for it. And so we are now going to be able to provide every fire truck in Muscogee County, every station, with equipment they need to help animals in a fire situation. Certainly our focus uh, in any emergency scene is to concentrate on saving life, property, and environment. Uh, but if we run into a situation, as we often do, um, where there's no emergent situation uh, with, with a human life at a fire scene, but however we have a situation where uh, a family pet may be suffering uh, from the effects of smoke inhalation, uh, then now uh, we, would, we would be able to provide some, possibly some life-saving uh, interventions uh, to a pet. The animals are actually going to um, sustain probably even more smoke inhalation since a lot of them are uh, down and underneath things and um, of course as the fire subsides and all of the uh, char falls to the ground they're going to get it on their fur so not only are they going to inhale it they're going to get it in their fur and of course cats in particular lick their fur and will ingest a lot of it too. 62 percent of U.S. households have at least one pet and for a lot of people, those pets are family. So losing a pet in a fire is, you know, nothing less than devastating to them. 